Hello everyone! How many backlinks, blog posts or pages should I have or what benchmark scores should I achieve to reach the top of SERPs? If you are asking yourself the same questions, competitor analysis may help you get started. If we know statistics of websites that have already achieved our goals, at least we can predict the minimum amount of work we should do for our projects. In this video, I will show you how to get this data in a peak checker and how to perform a simple analysis in spreadsheets. So, let's start! To find the main rivals of any website in search, you can scrape results pages by several clusters of topical keywords. In order to do so, open Search Engine Scraper and enter here a list of queries. I recommend you using 5-10 keywords from the same cluster rather than 20 from different ones. For example, try using by Bluetooth speaker, by wireless speaker, by waterproof speaker, rather than by laptop, by mobile phone, by couch. So, after that, choose necessary search engines. If several search engines are popular in your area, you can scrape results for all of them at once, but let's leave only Google for this example. Then choose number of results that you want to scrape. I prefer top 25, but you can choose any option here, even maximum one, to get several hundreds of them. Then you can, you have an option to scrape different snippet types, but again, in this case, it's not relevant. After that, you can choose necessary geolocation for scraping. In in our case, let's uh, choose Ocean City, Maryland and any language and any time. But if you want, you can change it any, whenever it's suitable for your case. After that, we can start the scraping and results will appear in just a few seconds. Here is a step-by-step -step algorithm for the further process. First of all, connect your API tokens for preferred services. Some of them should be paid, some of them available after signed up. After that, choose necessary parameters on the sidebar. I prefer Serpstat, Moz, Ahrefs, Lexa and several more. And I also want to mention data about website traffic. It's available for all pro plan users and gives you access to data about visits of any website and share of traffic for each traffic channel. And it has no limits. So uh, it's one of the easiest and affordable ways to get this data for competitor analysis. As soon as you have enabled necessary parameters, you can start uh, retrieving data by clicking the start button. Let me show you the results. You can either work with them inside of our table or export to other services like Excel or Google Spreadsheets, which I prefer the most. To enable connection with Google Spreadsheets, you should go to the, to the settings and export tab. Choose Google Sheets option. Uh, by the way, it's available for all pro plan users. So if communication with your colleagues or clients uh, is mostly located in Google Drive, then ProPlan is more suitable for your workflow with Netpeak Check. So you need to add your Google account here and grant permission to uh, export the data straight to your Google Drive. And let me show you how it looks like there. We create a folder called Netpeak Checker Experts and here you will find all the reports that you want to get from the tool. Here is how it looks well, here is how it looks like. You get the URL and all the numbers in columns, the same as you have them in in the tool. Also we created uh, tooltips here, like notes, to give you the give you the information about each of the parameters, what does it mean if you want to learn more or if you share the report with your colleagues that may be not that familiar with external services like, I don't know, like Majestic or something like that. And let me show you how to tweak a bit this table to get the most of this report. First of all, put your website to the top and pin it using view freeze option. Then calculate median and upper quartile for each of the parameters and then compare your stats with, uh, with them. Uh, I prefer 
conditional formatting so I can quickly understand my position by colors. At the same time, you can calculate approximate backlink budget to reach median or upper quartile. It's real estate niche, so it's quite expensive to reach upper quartile, so, so I calculated it for median one. Based on the calculated data and received results, we can better prioritize your work and understand the level of concurrency in this niche, so we can work more effectively. If you want to learn more tips and use cases of our tools, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video, so I know that you enjoy it, so I can create more of them. And of course, if you have any questions, you can ask them in comments below or during an online demonstration that you can book following the link in the video description. My colleague will show you the functionality of our tools and answer all your questions personally. Just in a few minutes, you can analyze any niche and plan an approximate budget required to reach the top of the SERPs. It's just a part of comprehensive competitor analysis, and if you want to do a more in-depth one, I recommend using Nitpick Spider for technical audit and SERPstat or Ahrefs for backlink analysis, for example, to get an anchor list of your competitors or to see a backlink sources intersection. And of course, competitor analysis has no limits, so you can always find more checks and comparison ideas. Thanks a lot for watching, if you enjoyed it, subscribe and like our channel and book a demo to learn more about our tools. I wish you to reach the top of the SERPs as soon as possible and get a lot of traffic. Bye-bye.